In the quiet little town of East Troy, there is a little known piece of history that rolls quietly through the countryside on the weekends. Most people that live in the area surrounding the rail line see this piece of history as a remembrance of the past and how rail operations used to be done. The East Troy Electric Railroad runs May through the end of October with a few Christmas trains in late November and early December. In addition to running regular weekend trains, the East Troy Electric Railroad also runs dinner trains a few times through the, throughout the season that allow guests the ability to enjoy a slower look at the line, along with some good dining. The East Troy Railroad is run and operated by the Friends of the East Troy Railroad. The, e the railroad runs multiple units from all eras of electrified rail transportation from all over the United States, but primarily from the Chicago, Milwaukee, and Twin Cities metro areas. They are always in the process of acquiring and restoring old cars. The railroad also still operates a sporadic freight service to some of the local industries in East Troy, and in the winter, it runs regular line clearing operations to keep service open. Towards the end of the season, the fall trains running from East Troy to the Elegant Farmer in McQuanago and back carry many families with freshly harvested apples for fresh apple pie and pumpkins that little children mo will most likely be carving with the help of their parents into jack-o'-lanterns for the coming Halloween festivities. On this day, the railroad was running two trains, one from each end of the line. The units that were running over the last weekend in September were the Evanston Express along with Car 30 and Car 846. The Evanston Express is an old Chicago elevated car, with Car 30 being an old Chicago South Shore Line unit and Car 846 coming from the greater Milwaukee area. So if you ever find yourself in East Troy, drop by the Friends of the East Troy Railroad and take a ride back into history. And remember, look, listen, and live. Reporting for Webhawk News, this is Tim Gums from East Troy.